antibiotics are the most important weapons for the treatment of many infectious diseases caused by bacteria. If used irrationally, can cause undesirable clinical response, can interfere with patient's normal flora, there will be chances of selection of drug resistance organisms, may have increased incidence of on-toward side effects, leads to increased treatment cost. Rational use of antibiotics requires that patients receive medications appropriately to their clinical needs in doses that meet their own individual requirements for an adequate period of time at the lowest cost to them and their community. Antibiotic policy is the solution. It is important to ensure that antibiotics are prescribed in a way which minimizes the risk of healthcare associated infections. Let's hear what our Apollo BGS hospital stakeholders have to say about antibiotic resistance and thoughts. Namaste. Today we're talking about the antibiotic policy in our hospital. The primary aim of our hospital with respect to antibiotic policy is to minimize the morbidity and mortality due to antimicrobial resistant infection and to preserve the effectiveness of antimicrobial agents in the treatment and prevention of communicable diseases. Hence, with this objective, we from management have full commitment to make sure that we extend our full support to develop and implement the policy in the hospital. Thank you. Firstly, as a physician, we need to remember that antibiotics are important for the treatment of infections. We need to reserve them for the times when the patient really requires them and avoid giving it when the current situation doesn't uh, mandate for it. Because um, the situations where they are required, if it is used uh, unnecessarily, it would lead to the problem of antibiotic resistance. Secondly, simple infections like upper respiratory infections, mostly it doesn't require antibiotic therapy. So probably patients would um, meet a physician for clarification or reassurance. So we should not assume that patients come to us for antibiotic prescriptions. But the majority of the patients are looking for an explanation and for some advice what to do. So we can always reassure them that if things get, don't get better, we can start antibiotics later. Finally, inappropriate antibiotic use and antibiotic resistance is not just a problem of the tertiary care centers where people are very sick. Antibiotic resistance is now a common problem even in the community which we see in young patients and healthy patients. The perception that this is just a problem of the facilities where people are very sick is not necessarily true anymore. So we are seeing a lot of infections in the community now that are resistant to antibiotics. Challenges while treating a patient with multi-drug resistance are manifold. Challenges as a healthcare practitioner I'll be talking about. It is very difficult to treat a multi-drug resistant uh, organism infecting a patient because he already he has received multi uh, uh, antibiotics before his uh, treatment uh, per se as of now which has caused him to develop infection with a multi drug organism most often it is due to unnecessary or prolonged use of ineffective antibiotics or un underdosed antibiotic so thereby he has already got a multi drug uh, resistant uh, organism infection and he has to be treated with a higher antibiotic which is going to increase his morbidity obviously and increase the side effects also because of the additional uh, antibiotics and it is also increase, going to increase his hospital stay thereby increasing his uh, uh, bills and causing problems in his financial status also. It is a loss of healthcare resources where another patient could have been treated because this patient is occupying the bed for a long time. And there is also a risk of cross infection due to this multi drug resistant organism causing spread in the ICU patients to the adjacent beds as well. So, the challenges as a healthcare pr uh, practitioner, these are manifold, but for a patient, it is much more, and for his relatives also, it is a challenge, and thereby we have to. Uh, look upon how to prevent or reduce the number of multi-drug resistant infections, especially in, a, in our ICU and healthcare setup. Nurses are the backbone of patient care in any hospital or nursing home. 
the basic principles of hand hygiene and good health care such as hand washing and applying disinfectant like hand rub before visiting the next patient are of paramount importance to prevent the spread of infections. In addition, a nurse could also gently enforce the practice of hand hygiene by talking to or reminding doctors at all levels about such practices. This will ensure adherence to hand hygiene and help prevent the spread of infections. As a nurse, I follow barrier nursing and strict adherence to five moments of hand hygiene. I also make sure that my nurses also follow the same at all times in all areas. I am empowered to talk to doctors and remind them of the hand hygiene practice. Antibiotic policy should aim at prudent use of antibiotics, prevention of spread of resistant bacteria and shall have specific recommendations for different high risk or special groups such as immunocompromised hosts, hospital acquired infections and community associated infections. Strict antibiotic policy implementation and monitoring is the need of the hour at our hospital. When infections can no longer be treated by first-line antibiotics, more expensive medicines must be used. A longer duration of illness and treatment often in hospitals increase healthcare cost as well as the economic burden of families and societies. Antibiotic resistance is putting the achievements of modern medicine at risk. Organ transplantations, chemotherapy and surgery such as cesarean sections become much more dangerous without effective antibiotics for the prevention and treatment of infections. Hence, let us all join hands for effective implementation of antibiotic policy. Ensure a robust action plan to tackle antibiotic resistance is in place. Improve surveillance of antibiotic resistant infections. Strengthen our policies, programs and implementation of infection prevention and control measures. Regulate and promote the appropriate use and disposal of quality medicine. And make information available on the impact of antibiotic resistance to the concerned stakeholders. Thank you.